Hey guys, this video is about the metric system and units of measurement. Okay, so in science class, we use um, uh, the metric system. Here in the US, um, we have a different system, but in science class, we do not use that. Okay, so the metric system is a measurement system based on our decimal number system. So it has a base 10, okay? What the purpose is, it's to convert between units easily, okay? Um, it's used to make dimensions for dimensional analysis or conversion factors later on, like one foot is 12 inches, okay? That's what dimensional analysis is going to get us into. But we're going to look at the base units and how to convert back and forth between them because using the metric system, there's a few different um, types of conversions and you need to be familiar with them all. Okay, so first thing is the International System of Units, the SI units, something you need to be familiar with. Um, essentially, the metric system was established in France in 1795, adopted by an international agreement in 1960. The standards are objects that are of constant value, easy to preserve and reproduce, and practical in size. Okay, so essentially by being practical in size, it's going to be something that's uh, manageable, easy to use. So based on the meter, kilogram, second, amp, Kelvin, candela, and mole are some of the SI units. Okay, but we're going to focus on a few of them, not all of these. Okay, these are the ones majority in science, all the courses, but we're going to focus on a few of them. And you'll see in today's video. Okay. The seven base units of SI are length, which is going to be, you know, the meter. Mass is the kilogram. Temperature is going to be in kelvins. Okay. Time is in seconds. Amount of a substance is the mole. Uh, luminous intensity is candela. And electric current is the ampere. Okay, now the non-SI units, and this is where we're going to be doing a lot of practice with today, are these here. And these are the ones that are uh, very important to know, and these are the ones you're going to want to memorize. Okay. Now, all measured quantities can be reported in SI units. Sometimes, however, non-SI units are preferred for convenience or for practical reasons. We will focus on grams, meters, and liters. Okay, so we're going to focus on grams. Okay, which is going to be for mass, meters, which is for length, and liters, which is for volume. Okay, so that's what we're going to be working on this in this class. Okay, these are the units for converting. Now, these three here, G, M, and L, are represented by a large capital U. Okay, so in the metric system, they lie directly under U. Okay, that's the uh, column they would be in. Okay, so when we do conversions later, when you look for the U, it's going to be a G, an M, or a big L underneath of it. And we're going to move the decimal. Okay, now mass. Okay, is the measure of the quantity of matter, like how much mass does something have, not weight. Weight is the amount of force due to gravity. Okay, you would use a spring scale for that. Mass is the amount is the measure of the quantity of the matter. So for example, kilograms is used to measure large masses, like the mass of a human. Now in weight rooms, they have on the weights, kilograms, along with pounds, okay? So check those out next time you go down there. Okay, also milligrams is used to measure smaller masses, like a drop of water. Now length, which is the meter, um, is used to measure distance. Km is used to express longer distances, like from here to New York City or here to Philadelphia. Centimeters is used to express shorter distances, very small, like the width of a book. Okay, then we have volume, which is in liters. Okay, so volume is the amount of space occupied by an object. Kiloliter is used to express larger volumes, like the volume of water in a pool. And milliliter is used to express smaller volumes, like the volume in a soda can. Like one soda can um, uh, usually has 355 mLs of soda in it. 
Okay, metric prefixes. Okay, here they are. Um, this is a handout that I usually give out. Okay, so you have your base units, and we're going to be looking at those. We have the largest base unit on the left and the smallest all the way on the right. Okay, so let's look at the metric prefixes. All right, now we have the seven Latin prefixes, okay? And they are gonna be used for um, grams, meters, and liters, okay? They're prefixes, so they're gonna be put in front of each one of these, depending upon which they are. Okay, so like you saw before, you have in order kilo, hecta, deca, u, which is your three base units here, which are in red, deci, centi, milli, micro. Okay, now going from left to right, units go from large to small, okay? So kilo is the largest, micro is the smallest. Okay, there's a value of 10 for each one, which makes it very simple from going from one unit to the next. You just have to move the decimal place over one spot. Now, if you move the decimal from the left to the right, that means you multiply by 10. That's very important to remember. If you move the decimal from the right to the left, that's divide by 10. You can't mix that up. You have to remember. Now, you have to remember that sig fig rules will apply, and we'll look at that. So whatever your number you start out with, you have to count the number of sig figs, and your answer should have the correct number of sig figs. Okay. Now, there's a little mnemonic here that helps students um, remember uh, the prefixes. Um, it's King Henry died unexpectedly drinking chocolate milk. Okay, here is a table that we're going to look at, um, and we give this out in class to practice. So we have your largest unit on the left and your smallest unit on the right and you have your base unit, meter, liter, gram. Now here you have your little prefixes. Okay, the K, the H, the DA, the little D, little C, little M, little U. Now they're all a value of 10 from each other, except for micro. Now, if you move the decimal from the left to the right, you multiply by 10 from each box, okay? If you move the decimal to the left, that's divide by 10. So let's put some numbers in here and we'll examine it. All right, so we have one kilogram, all right, equals a thousand grams. So how do we get that? Well, one times 10 is 10, times 10 is 100, times 10 is a thousand, okay? Now, if we want to go in the opposite direction, if we have one here, okay, we want to go to kilo, Move the decimal to the left, one, two, three spaces to the left, and you get 0 0.0001, okay? Now, going from the base unit to the right, you can see that um, going from base unit to deci, it's times 10, deci to centi, it's times 10, centi to milli times 10, but from milli to micro, it's times 1,000. So for every one of the base units, it's a million micros. Micros are that small. And also, if you have, say, one deci, it's 10 centi. 10 centi is 100 milli. So it could just show you no matter where you start, it's multiplying by 10. And over here, one centi equals 10 milli. Or even smaller, one milli equals 1,000 micro. So this is just to show you how to compare the units. We're going to look at some examples and move the decimal back and forth. And that's all we're going to be doing. We're going to be taking this skill and applying it to something called dimensional analysis down the road and making conversion factors. However, the main point is to understand the prefixes and how they relate to the base units. That these are the smaller ones on the right and these are the larger ones on the left. Now, traditionally, hecto and deca are not used in chemistry. They're used in engineering, but not really chemistry. Kilo is, deci, centi, micro, and milli are used as well. And you need to know these in order from largest to smallest.
Okay, so let's look at some examples. Okay, now we're going to do some conversion. Okay, here's some examples we're going to practice. Okay, let's convert from 1.2 grams kilogram to grams. Okay, now kilograms, where is it? It's right here. Where is grams? Right here. So essentially, you want to move the decimal to the right. Okay, so kilograms, one, two, three places to the right. Okay, so we're going to end up getting, let me write 1.2. We're going to move three places to the right. One, two, three. Okay, so our answer equals 1,200 grams. Okay, now 0.5 liters to mLs. Okay, uh, liters is right here in the middle. We want to go to milliliters. That's right here. Okay, so 0 0.5 liters. We're going to go one, two, three to the right. One, two, three to the right. Okay, so we're going to get 500 mLs. Okay. Now, just make sure your sig figs match up. Like we started out with two, we end with two. Started with one, we end up with one. So half a liter equals 500 mLs. Now let's look at 565 meters and let's convert to kilometers. So meters is here in the middle. We want to go to kilometers this way. So it's divide by 10. Okay, so I'm going to write 565. And we want to go three spaces to the left. One, two, three. Okay, so we're here. One, two, three. Okay, so it's 0 0.565 km. Okay, three sig figs, three sig figs. Now, 10 deciliters. Okay, deci is here liter and we want to go to liter so that's just over one deci to liter it's just one jump to the left so 10 deciliters okay we do one jump to the left equals one liter okay let me scroll down here a little bit a couple more examples three more Okay, now centigrams. Centi is here. We want to go to grams, so we want to go to the left. Centigrams to grams. Okay, so 125 centigrams. We want to go to the left two spots. One, two. So it's 100, I'm sorry, 1.25 grams. Okay, 100 centimeters. Centimeters is here, meters is here. So we want to go to the left too. So 100 cm, we want to go to the left too. One, two. And that equals one meter. So in one meter, there's 100 centimeters. So think of a meter stick. Okay, and the last one, 1,500 millimeters, we want to go to meters. Millies is here. We want to go to the left. One, two, three. So we're going to go to the left, three. One, two, three. So it equals 1.5 meters. Okay? So that's it. Just move the decimal back and forth. And just remember, these prefixes here go with all of these. So it can be decimeter, deciliter, decigram. Centimeter, centiliter, centigram. Um, millimeter, milliliter, milligram. And then over here, kilometer, kiloliter, kilogram. They're all interchangeable. That's the good thing about this. It's very simple. Um, takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you are once you get used to it, you're good to go. All right, guys, we're going to do some more practice examples on this. Um, all right, peace out.